The Wolf and the Seven Little Goats Once upon a time in a dense forest, seven adorable little goats lived with their mother. The mother goat loved her kids unconditionally and took great care of them. Every day, the mother goat would go out into the forest to collect some food for her little ones. The little goats would stay alone and play with each other till their mother came home. One day, a sneaky wolf got to know that seven little goats were all alone in their home. Seven delicious little goats! It would be so much fun to feast on them. Dear children, I have to go into the forest to fetch food for us. When I come home, I would sing a song. Only then should you open the door. Mother Goat's instructions scared the little goats. When Mom left the house, the kids started playing inside the house. Open the door, dear children. Your mother is here. Open the door. No, it is not our mother. We can recognize our mother's sweet voice. You are the big bad wolf, right? Go away. Hmm. Looks like I would need some honey to sweeten my voice. Hmm. No sooner had the wolf hit the honeycomb with a stone, all the bees attacked him. The foolish wolf thought that the honey would immediately turn his voice sweet. The wolf came back, knocking at the door of the house and started singing. Little ones, open the door. I am your mother calling. The bad wolf is no longer there. But the little goats were clever and did not open the door. <sighs> All right, don't open the door. Now see what I will do. The wolf broke open the door and growled as he showed his teeth. The little goats were shocked and started running helter-skelter. They hid themselves wherever they possibly could. The tiniest goat hid herself in a tall clock case. So, little kids, where are you all hiding? This is not the time to play a game with me. Oh, come on. You can play in my tummy once I have gobbled you up. Wolf found the little goats from their hidings one by one and then dumped them in a sack and took them away. The tiniest goat hiding in the clock case was the only one he did not find. The mother goat was shocked to see the door open when she returned back. Oh, what a sight she saw there. Everything was a mess and there were large footprints of the wolf on the floor. Mother Goat started weeping bitterly for her dear children. Oh, Mommy dear, the big bad wolf came and took all my siblings away. Mother Goat and the little goat went looking for the big bad wolf. Do you know where the big bad wolf resides? The mother goat silently peeped into the wolf's house. The little goat recognized the sack and told her mother. Mommy, the wolf had put everyone in this sack. I need more wood to cook a sumptuous meal. The very instant the wolf headed outside, the mother goat and little goat hurriedly entered the house and opened the sack before the wolf could come back. They put stones inside the sack and quickly hid themselves. Excited to cook his grand meal, the wolf checked the sack from far and happily began the preparations. Now let's teach that wolf a good lesson. <coughs> oh, no, I can't be sharing my food with the lion. The wolf quickly lifted the sack and rushed toward the forest. Goat's children kept roaring to scare the wolf. Why does this feel so heavy? The wolf began to run really fast. The wolf was exhausted and accidentally fell into the river. A hungry crocodile in the river soon feasted on the wolf. The big bad wolf was no more. So friends, the moral of the story is, do not let others exploit your gentleness.
Little Red Riding Hood. A long, long time ago, in a faraway town, there lived a sweet and adorable little girl named Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Her grandma gifted the little girl a beautiful red hooded cloak on her last birthday. <laughs> This is so pretty! Thank you, Grandma. Oh, the little girl loved the gift so much that she would wear it everywhere she would go, and so everyone began to fondly call her Red Riding Hood. One afternoon, they got to know that Grandma is not so well. Immediately, Mom made delicious hot chicken soup and fresh bread for Grandma. Mom packed the food in a small basket and gave it to Red Riding Hood. Keep in mind, Red, as you walk in the forest, do not loiter around and keep walking on the main path only. Do not talk to strangers along the way. Yes, Mom. I promise to go straight to Grandma's house. Bye bye. Singing a merry tune, Little Red Riding Hood was passing through the woods with a basket for her grandmother. Huh? <laughs> uh oh! The wonderful aroma coming from her basket roused a wolf who was sleeping under a tree. A delicious little girl, but where is she headed to? Well, hello there, little Missy. Care to share some of your food with me? Ah,、uh, so sorry, Mr. Wolf, but I cannot give you the food. This chicken soup is for my sick grandma who lives in her tiny cottage all alone. But wait. I can surely give you this apple. The grandma lives all alone. Hmm. I will eat up the old woman first, and then eat this little girl. I must act craftily so as to catch them both. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Missy. I know what can make your sick grandma healthy again. Really? What is it? Please, please tell me. Those strawberries over there contain magical powers. If you give some to your grandma, she'll recover soon. Oh wow! Thank you so much, Mister. I'll go pick some right away. Nice. Now let me head towards Grandma's house. While Little Red Riding Hood was busy picking up strawberries for her grandma, the nasty wolf. Hurried towards Grandma's cottage. He had decided to gobble up Grandma, followed by Little Red. The moment she would come to the cottage, the wolf reached Grandma's cottage and found Grandma peacefully sleeping in her bed. Hmm. Look at her sleeping so peacefully. Who is it? Why have you come here? To eat you and your granddaughter. <laughs> What? Get out of this place! Singing a merry tune, Red Riding Hood reached Grandma's cottage. But as soon as she went inside, she was baffled to see her、ah. grandma. She went towards Grandma and asked, "Oh goodness!" What big eyes you have, Grandma! All the better to see you with, my sweet girl. What a deep voice you have, Grandma! All the better to greet you with, my child. And what big hands you have! All the better to hug you with. Huh? Why is your mouth so large? All the better to eat you with. <laughs> After gobbling up Grandma and Red Riding Hood, 
The big bad wolf fell asleep on the bed and began to snore loudly. A woodcutter who was passing by Grandma's house paused as he heard the startling snoring coming from inside. Sensing that something was not right, the woodcutter headed toward the cottage. Oh heavens! This sly wolf is sleeping on Grandma's bed. Why is his stomach rumbling this way? Huh? Oh no! I think the wolf has gobbled up Grandma. Let me teach this sly wolf a good lesson. Woodcutter cut open the wolf's stomach, and out came Grandma and Red Riding Hood. Woodcutter placed a large stone inside the wolf's stomach, and Grandma quickly sewed up the stomach. Oh, Grandma! I was so scared. This bad wolf didn't harm you, right? My sweet child, I am all right, and I'm really happy to see you safe and sound. Thank you so much, young man. Three of them hid themselves outside the cottage and waited for the wolf to wake up. The wolf finally got up from his deep sleep. However, he was feeling extremely thirsty. Grr, why is my stomach so heavy? The wolf couldn't hold up the weight of the heavy rock in his stomach, and he soon slipped into the river and drowned immediately. Bye bye, big bad wolf. Little Red Riding Hood promised her grandma to never talk to strangers again. She also thanked the woodcutter with all her heart. Later, all three of them had lots of fun together. And they also enjoyed eating the delicious cake baked by Grandma. Thank you for saving me and my grandma, Mr. Woodcutter. Fox and the Grapes. Huh? I need to teach the sly fox a good lesson. <laughs> Let me trick this tricky fox. It will be so much fun. Hmm? Hmm? Something to eat, but I'm so tired. 
I'll rest for a while under this tree. <gasps> oh heavens! I would enjoy munching this juicy grape so much! Hmm. I'm sure these grapes are sore. <laughs> I don't want them. I should not waste my time on sore grapes. <laughs> it's easy to despise what you cannot have. times. Let me try just one more time. <gasps> Keep trying and never give up. You will surely get success. 